Hi, my name is William Watkins and today I'm going to be showcasing the soda can theremin that I built using the analog discovery and the analog parts kit. So what a theremin is, is an electronic instrument that can be played without physical contact. So you control it by moving your hand position relative to an antenna, like this. And as you may have guessed, I'm using a soda can as the antenna in this case. It doesn't have to specifically be a soda can, it could be any other metal object that conducts electricity. In discussing how this works, I'll start by explaining the system as a whole. First, a sinusoidal signal produced by a variable frequency oscillator is mixed with a signal produced by a fixed frequency oscillator. These two signals are mixed in a portion of the circuit referred to as a weighted summer. And then the output of the weighted summer goes through what's called an envelope detector, which traces a beating signal caused by the mixing of the original two signals. And this signal will then be amplified and sent to the speaker. So as I mentioned, this circuit begins with a variable frequency oscillator, which is right here. This is composed of the OP27 operational amplifier, three 100 kilo ohm resistors, and a 100 picofarad capacitor. And that capacitor is in parallel with a capacitor that is composed of myself and the soda can. So by holding this wire right here, I make myself one plate of a capacitor, and the soda can is the other plate. And then by moving my hand closer to or further from the soda can, I can produce a change in capacitance, which then changes the frequency, and that's based on an equation that governs the output of this variable frequency oscillator. Again, in a theremin, you mix one signal from a variable frequency oscillator, which we just discussed, and another signal from a fixed frequency oscillator. In place of the fixed frequency oscillator, I use the analog discovery waveform generator, and this was a lot simpler because I could just choose the output frequency that I wanted and apply it directly where it was needed in the circuit. As mentioned, we want to mix these two oscillator signals, and this takes place in the weighted summer portion of the circuit right here. This is composed of another OP27 operational amplifier, a 20 kilo ohm resistor, and two 47 kilo ohm resistors at each of the oscillator inputs. So the weighted summer will output a sum of the two oscillator signals, and this will result in a sinusoidal signal that also varies in amplitude. And this varying amplitude follows the frequency of what's called the beat, and this is referred to as a beating signal. So the frequency of the beat in that signal is the signal that we eventually want to send to our speaker. So we are going to isolate that portion of the signal by sending it through what's called an envelope detector. And what the envelope detector does is traces over this signal that we got from the weighted summer. And that is this portion of the circuit right here. It is composed of a simple diode, a 10 kilo ohm resistor, and a 0.047 microfarad capacitor. So the output from the envelope detector is actually ready to send to the speaker already, but it wouldn't be very loud. So the last step is to send it through an amplifier to make it loud enough that we can hear it. That's this portion of the circuit right here. This is an inverting amplifier, and it's composed of an OP37 operational amplifier, which is essentially the same as the OP27 amplifier. And it also has a 10 kilo ohm resistor and a 20 kilo ohm resistor. And this provides a gain of two, which essentially doubles the amplitude of the signal or doubles the volume so that we can hear it. And then the signal of the inverting amplifier is sent to the speaker, and that's what we hear when we play the theremin. So if you're interested in learning more or building one yourself, check out the Instructables link in the description below. And also don't forget to subscribe or check out some of our other videos. And thanks for watching.